because of sequester? Yep. Um, hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, no, not that I'm wearing furry boots and just a little, little tiny wrap. This is Southern California. We do things like that. But that, wait, people are finding out it's not quite like they thought it would be because, oh yeah, because of the president sequester. Wait a minute, wasn't it the Republicans that did it? Or, wait a minute. Well, I guess it's not always what you think it's going to be. Hmm. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines out. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they, it is all over the Republicans. They're, they're, they're being blamed for all the problems with the sequester. They're being blamed with the problems with Obamacare being, inst being instituted. Oh, oh, actually not. That's the Democrats that are being blamed for the sequester. And the Democrats are basically, I loved it this morning, they're denying what everyone knows is public knowledge is that they're trying to, they, if they can't get uh, waivers for themselves, they're going to have to lay off employees that work for them to get under the 50 the under the 50 total because their employees are making too much money to qualify for assistance under Obamacare. Mm -hmm. And and the employees are bitching up us. We don't, it's, it's going to, what, what I heard say this morning, it's going to cost us $5,000 a year more than we were currently paying under our plan before. Mm -hmm. So I want to know what good was that going, it wasn't, it, it, they're realizing Matt Baucus says, uh, help write the legislation says it's totally unmanageable. And they're going to have to stop it and start all over again. And Amazon lifts executive stock awards as Apple rivalry heats up. I know, and that's something. They're, they think they're going to declare a loss today for the first time in years, too, which is funny. Really? Yeah, Apple. Okay, Apple is going down the drain, folks. Apple is completely... Apple has uh, lost more than $300 a share since the uh, fall of the year. And they think it may end up back in the ter uh, somewhere over 100 to 200 before they continue to finish losing. But this is Amazon and Apple rivalry? Yeah, Apple, because Apple basically has all the apps and all the other stuff. And, and uh, Amazon basically is, is uh, like everybody is, is climbing on Apple's business now that Apple is doing everything wrong. And rip off a BlackBerry to ask regulators to probe report on returns. Okay, there's the problem is, is that they, okay, they say, well, our stock is being unjustly uh, hit because of the fact that uh, it's, it's false reports that people are returning to Blackberries. And it's not false report. That I, they're returning to Blackberries? They're returning to Blackberries because they're, they, they, they're not living up, okay, there is no apps. <clears throat> And it, well, they, that was the problem with the BlackBerry tablet. Yeah, and the, now they got the BlackBerry, the new BlackBerry phone is the same way. They put the cart before the horse. They put the device out without the apps, and no one wants to write apps for it, so. Mm. And scientists find Antarctic ice is melting faster. I, I'm going to tell people, anybody uh, know that once there was green grass and dinosaurs in, in the Arctic and the Antarctic? What happened was the world got colder. The world was, I, remember this, when the dinosaurs were here, the world was all nice, moist jungle stuff. It, cha it changes. And man had nothing to do with global warming in the days of the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And Putin says Russia to launch the first manned space flight from its soil in 2018. Yeah, because they're going to, basically they're having problems with all of those Muslim-oriented countries like Turkestan and Uzbekistan where they're, Space platforms are so that now they're building a whole facility inside of Russia now. Mm -hmm. And companies jockey for position and changing the U.S. space market. Well, yeah. Well, first of all, there is a law on the books that says that uh, that companies cannot use guided missiles in the United States. If you're in a space program and you're launching guided missiles, you're in violation of federal statutes, which our president doesn't seem to understand. Is on the well, actually, what it is. If the president, um, Oliver Wendell Holmes said, if you don't like the law, change the law, don't break the law. With our president, if you don't like the law, just break it. Mm -hmm. And big brain, brain projects highlight drug research gaps. Uh, yeah, well, because um, what happened is, is that it's caught, they, they said workers are leaving now because of all the Obama taxes, Obamacare, Obama mm -hmm. this. They're now leaving the United States to go elsewhere where they can work and they don't have to face all of these fees that this guy's putting on you. That, that, they were talking about that this morning also. They said that Obamacare and Obama taxes are stripping businesses of the help they need to work 
because they uh, they said, why would you? Well, for instance, you're a doctor. Why do you want to be a doctor when the government isn't going to? You know, the government's going to make certain you no longer can make any money. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to be a, a, a research scientist and know that you no longer can afford to pay your bills because of the Democrats and Obama? So they they're, they're either going to stop doing what they're doing. I know a doctor that basically made, that uh, is prepared if she if she comes back to the United States to go to work as a as a lap dancer because she'll make money there. Oh. And Venezuelan rivals rally supporters after clash over election results. Oh well, yeah, because they know the guy the guy didn't win. Okay, dictators always narrowly win elections, but this narrowly win was they said a real narrow win because he was frantic on trying to get people, he was trying to bust his supporters out using the military to go into communities to force people to vote. And that means you actually lost the election and everybody knows it. And North Korea issues new threats over protests in the South. Oh well, yeah, because um, uh, the, uh, everything, no matter what Obama and Kerry say, everything is on the North Korean side. The rule is, is if you have nothing to lose, what are they going to take from you? And China, China points a finger at U.S. over Asia-Pacific tensions. Well, yeah, they said that Obama's causing all the problems. Isn't that something? That, they are? Uh, yeah, <laughs> they said Obama basically isn't taking anything seriously. And, and at the same time, not taking anything seriously, is preparing to cave in. You, you never cave into a blackmailer, and Obama's getting ready to do it for the second time in his presidency. Yeah, and they all know. Yeah. <laughs> they all know. Japan court rejects request to shut down Ohi nuclear reactors. Because I think 50-60% of the power in, Ch in Japan comes from nuclear reactors. Here's the problem is, they never uh, they got hit by it. Uh, everything on Earth, it was like a perfect storm. That doesn't happen but once in a lifetime. It's, it's not likely that it will ever happen again. Plus the fact that they know that the company that built the reactors didn't build the reactors to withstand everything it should have withstood. Ooh. And Tucson knows a condition improves and brothers are poorly motivated by U.S. wars. Well, okay, they know that. But um, <laughs> here's the thing, too, that uh, they said that somebody pissed, a Democrat pissed off Obama because a magistrate went in and put a halt to the illegal questioning of the guy by personing him, reading his Miranda rights, and they're after the judge, and the judge said, the, you know, if you, if you weren't going to declare him an enemy combatant, you had no right to question him without giving him his Miranda rights, because you, the FBI didn't arrest him, our people arrested him, your people didn't, which means he's ours, not yours. Mm. So now it's all screwed up, because everything that they got from him before the rights were read is null and void, and now he's not saying a single thing, and well, Obama, there's no evidence that this, these people got money, for, you know, they've got help. Well, since they, don't, they're in, they had no money, they traveled all over the place, they had a Mercedes Benz, for Christ's sake. That, uh, where would they get that from? They didn't steal it. Well, they said, well, there's evidence that they may have been drug dealing. Mm. Um, yeah, that's, they're, they're going to make up anything they have to make up now to hide the fact that they're trying to hide facts. Oh, would they do something like that? Yeah. Tucson's condition improves and brothers reportedly motivated by U.S. wars. I know she likes it. She oh, it yeah. That's right. Well, U.S. hospitals send hundreds of immigrants back home. Yeah, because Obama's pissed off about this. Well, you what? can't do that under Obama's plans. You don't send any illegals back anymore. Well, they can't even pay, do the U.S. citizens. Yeah, well, what happened is Obama is going to lose the federal lawsuit. 5,000 employees have filed a class action suit against the Obama for violation of federal statutes. They said the President of the United States does not have the authority to violate the laws of the land. And his issuing executive orders cannot countermand a, fe a law that is on the books. And therefore, the, uh, the, the Justice Department has tried to get it thrown out of court, but it's gonna, it, it, he's going to lose it and they're going to... But one of the guys said, I hope to see the man, you know, uh, behind bars before his presidency is up. Because, remember, he's creating an impeachable offense. The President of the United States does not have the legal authority to break a law. When you break a federal law, 
you then oh. become uh, impeachable. So. so what is it about health care? Is that what he's breaking it on something No, else? this is on the illegal aliens. He oh. stopped he stopped enforcement of the laws in the United States. Well, we're sending more people back than has ever been sent back before. And they also said he stopped counting the amount of people that are coming. Uh, as the border states have said 10 times as many people as he's listing are coming across the border. Ooh, and photo of Boston cops act of kindness goes viral. Oh, I, I know, that's a, a dumb thing. I mean, they, we're going to have to get, uh, I mean, you would think that Boston, who's Irish, would be full of Jews because they intend to let nobody forget about what happened. Any, I, I, here's a good one. Let's see, three people were killed and 150 were hurt. Uh, in Texas, 14 people were killed, 200 people were severely hurt, and most of them may die, and half the city was leveled. Which is the worst disaster? Yeah. But they they don't care about Texas. They only care about Boston because Boston is where the Democrats are. And Rissen suspect released from jail. Yeah, they uh, they have no evidence that he did anything other than somebody use his name. And get, they said everyone they said when is a conspiracy theory not a conspiracy theory when in fact the guy he was fired from his job, his house was burnt down, his dogs were killed, his car was set on fire. He has been uh, threatened repeatedly. Gee, do you think that might not be a conspiracy? And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Um, obviously, the truth is, often the truth is right in front of you if you're actually willing to look.